Welcome to Electron Online, and here we're going to graph what we call the lemnus gates, a very peculiar kind of graph with a pole coordinates. Notice that here we have the equation in terms of r squared equals 2 squared times the cosine of 2 theta. Now, if we rewrite this as the square root of both sides, we can then say that r is equal to 2 times square root of the cosine of 2 theta. And right away we realize that when the cosine of 2 theta is a negative value, we cannot take the square root of that, so we can only take the acceptable or allowable values of this particular function whenever the, what's underneath the radical is a positive number. So when we draw the table of values right here, notice for the angle of 0 degrees, 30, 45, 60, and 90, if we double the angle, we get these, these angles right here. Notice the radian equivalent of those. When we then evaluate the cosine of 2 theta, we get 1, 1 half, 0, negative 1 half, and negative 1. Multiply times 2 squared or 4, we get these values, but then when we take the square root of those, notice that the last two values, since they're negative, we cannot get acceptable values there, so they're not allowed. So therefore, we can only get a portion of that particular graph, that only of the angles that are allowed in this case. So let's go find out what those values are. May as well, might as well draw some little circles around there for r equals 1, r equals 2, r equals 3, and r equals 4. All right, so when the angle is zero degrees, you can see that the square root of that function, r, would then be equal to two. So one, that would be this value right there. For an angle of 30 degrees, we can see it's a square root of two, so at 30 degrees, which is up here somewhere, we're at the square root of two, which would be about 1.4. Then we can see that 45 degrees, we get zero, so at an angle of 45 degrees, we come down to zero, so you can see that the function looks like this. And then at 60, from 60 to 90, notice we do not get acceptable values. We no longer get accepted values until we're back at, let's see here, at uh, what, uh, what, uh, 135. So at 135 degrees, we take twice that number, which is 270 degrees. That means we get the cosine is zero, that will be zero, and this will be zero. So not until we have an angle of 135 degrees, which is in this direction, we get back zero, and then if we continue with that, let's see what happens. At uh, 135, let's go 150 degrees, that would be equal to 300 degrees, and the cosine of 300 degrees, that gives us one half, that would be four times that, which would be two, and the square of that would be the square root of two. So at an angle of 150 degrees, which is right over here, Notice we again get values from 0 to the square root of 2, then back to 2, and so forth. So then we get this function right here. If we continue going all the way around the circle, notice that this then will be completed this way, and this one will be completed this way. So we kind of have like a figure 8, and this portion of the curve and this portion of the curve is not an allowable curve because that would be gained by getting the square root of a negative number, so those values are not allowed. So in this case, we get something that looks like this, a figure eight, and we call them lemniscates, and that's how we graph them.